Yeah. One of the biggest, like, you know, dichotomies, not no pun intended, but it is gender. I mean, it really is mm, like, yeah. like that, that also oh my God. interrogates <laughs> patriarchy. <laughs> so it's like, we're actually <sighs> doing the most ancient, difficult, we're interrogating the most ancient. Don't get me fired up. <laughs> you're interrogating That'll the make most me act up kind of you're interrogating yeah. the most ancient hierarchy system which is patriarchy apart from yeah. just physical violent domination patriarchy first yeah. before you have the material change of you know like whatever socialism whatever yeah. like so i think that's why that's that's freaking the fuck out of people yeah because it is basically um anti-essentialism it's like mm, we're not yeah. just gonna distill everything down to a category because categorization a lot of times is violence when we have yeah. these like relations so yeah it's like why do they need to know that i have that the texts are green what is that for what does that information do <laughs> what is the value of that you know well, what I'm saying? you see people co are collective and then someone comes in and ruins it <laughs> with the green bubble hey hey I, okay i hear you i hear you and i'm gonna offer a counter argument fuck your little group chat yeah <laughs> fuck your little i message <laughs> But that's my community. That's my <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah. have to trust everybody. You can just trust people with iMessage. <laughs> you just like people with iMessage. It's enough. Yo. Yeah. I, I could. It is really funny that it literally simulates an invasion. <laughs> you just come in and <laughs> just destroy the community. Yeah. iPhone should have an animation where all the bells go, ah, they scream like the Evangelion <laughs> angels and they all crack in the yeah, green. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, like I'm, I'm really trying to look for this. It's gonna bother me if I don't find it. Um, she was an Italian anarchist, and like this is like the late 1800s, and her, the crux of a lot of her writings were not just about like hierarchy, but categories, like as a as another source of like yeah. <laughs> problems, mm. yeah. and like it's perfect that you brought up just gender like yeah. on that point, because if you really think about it, you know, what is the, what is the point of gender? Right. Even you could even argue for, for sex, like categories of sex. Like we know it's not a binary on either front and that ultimately they're both socially constructed in different ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the, on the sex point, I'm just, I'm alluding to intersex, Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. people um but like why like why is it wh what is it there for that what are those categories there for well they can well because they we got to have different swimming uh leagues <laughs> right people got to be they're there so you don't have full gotta... autonomy over yourself that's why they exist yeah right because you can't do whatever you want to yourself i'm 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 really <laughs> like i'm i'm putting this question to people who might be watching and have never thought about this before mm -hmm really think about it for a second even the the liberal people who identify as mm. feminists or or whatever yeah uh and they'll be they'll be like that's too that's too far when you're talking about gender and sex and like right. that's you know i res i respect you but there that has no scientific grounding or or whatever but it's like think about what those categories inherently do right for you like in terms of just getting in the way of us recognizing mm, our yeah. mutual humanity. Mm -hmm. Why do like, why do, <laughs> why do I have to say that I'm a man or mm, does someone have yeah. to say that they're uh, a, a woman? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, for bro. any, any reason, <laughs> like, you know what, what is the point? It's like, it's control. It's domination. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's the answer is it's like, if you can, if you can categorize people usually say when they're talking about like people of different racial and ethnic di uh, identities of like, Oh, you know, like they, they, they're they're trying to keep us you know so separated. We got it. We got it. Yeah, you yeah. know, like we yeah we got to unite through <laughs> we got to <laughs> unite through class. Oh, yeah. You know, that's like that's really what it's about. Mm -hmm. Take the most racist people of every race. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them together. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, yeah. like it gets at it gets at this this thing of like yeah you 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 can't um you can't ignore that the the divisions that are already existing, but it's like how far are we r really willing to like interrogate yeah. those divisions yeah. and where they right. lie? I mean, bro, I, I joke about the, the swimming thing or, or sports in general, but like 
and I've said this before, but I really believe that's the la- like one of the last vestiges of like nas- mm. nationalist fervor that's just so deeply ingrained in people where they're just like, right. we can't, we have to have, we got to have the leagues. Yeah. yeah. And w- we're, I mean, just in terms of like, let's say women's sports, like where it feels like um, we've come so far in advancing just women being in space, in public space in general, mm. where it feels like that's, something you have to defend like hard line like right. like Almost. for yeah. a better example like women's wage labor mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. where it really sprouts out of this out of this reality that like television made being in the house seem bad and being in the workplace seem good mm. and so it felt like uh it felt like a step in the right direction for women to now enter the workplace and become wage slaves <laughs> on that know? anna maria mazzoni is her name okay no, uh, she, I mean, yeah, she was yeah. she was actually for for um, I'll read the Wikipedia. You say yeah. Anna Maria Masui? <laughs> <laughs> Mazzoni. It's directly related to what you're just saying. It's yeah, commonly okay. held as the founder of the women's movement in Italy. One of the roles she is most known for is her pivotal involvement in getting women's suffrage in Italy. Right. OK. Yeah. Well, yeah. And so those those things seem appear as though they're these like um, kind of sacred advancements in uh women's rights and but they kind of completely missed the mark you know yeah. i've and well, when obviously on the measures thing or it's sort of like when the measure becomes the goal kind of thing it's like yeah well, mm. yes mm. yeah exactly and there's also um damn what it's like I, matriarchy as a response to patriarchy mm. it's like yeah like yeah. women should be and equal like, so they should be in jobs but now it's like women need to be working that sort of like becomes yeah. a protective thing yeah and there's that like uh I mean, equality is a good word to use, I think, like, because it's in equivalence as opposed to like an actual nuance. As opposed like, to freedom. Understand. Freedom. Yes. That's why yeah, I said exactly. matri- matriarchy in response to patriarchy. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like the extreme. Yeah. That's like the logical extreme of that sort of like track. Yeah. You know? Right, right, right. It's just like lady, the lady boss. Yes, you know, yeah. exactly. Yeah. A and, lady boss. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Like matriarchy as opposed to matricentricity, you know, mm. which is. Hmm? I would just say freedom to For, like, yeah. young metro. Like, I mean, just to like in terms of like a d- <laughs> well, because look, look, <laughs> it's, 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 it's on the it's on the gender point. It's like if yeah. we're all oh, if we are if we're living in a in a world if we're living in a world where we actually recognize each other's humanity and we we are living as humans. There's no point in gendering anything, right? There's no there's just no point. Gender only serves to. Does, you know, div- yeah. Mm-hmm. Divide, but how will I know what butt wipes to buy unless <laughs> I turn gay? Right. I need to yeah. buy the right. No, it's box. like it's so it's so deep. Like the implications yeah. are so fucking deep. Yeah. You know, it like really. Yeah. yeah, it's really important. I think to think about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had a, a joke I used to do. I haven't done it in a while, but oh, shit, I don't know. About like there was a. I think it was Joe Rogan and Jordan Peterson at one point said like trans people are the downfall of society. And then the joke was like, that's fucked up for them to say, but like, it's only bad if you believe society is good, mm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and mm. like in truth, it's true in the sense that like, once you oh, start- Oh, it's the disruption of- uh, Well, yeah, it's the, the, of, it's the disruption of those like Right. hierarchical categories that, joke, right. that yeah is about yeah. yeah that point yeah yeah this is the it's, downfall of the western world and you're like good <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah like, is that right, the right owning itself or something you know it's almost yeah, like, yeah, right, right, like right. Yeah. It just, they don't know how true they are <laughs> just like the downfall of the did world did y'all see that zach levy or levi i guess levy is yeah. like an anti-vaxxer who is that? The guy on the Shazam movies who was in that fucking what's that nerd show where he's like a nerd? <laughs> Big Bang? Theory? No, it's the one where he's like, I'm Chuck or whatever. Chuck? Maybe. <laughs> There's a show called Zach Chuck. Zach Levy was in it though. And he's in all the Shazam movies. Uh, y'all don't know. It's not. <laughs> Cut it out. No, <laughs> no, leave it. Cut it for time. <laughs> We're trying to keep these short. <laughs> Anyways, he was just on Rogan, and and Rogan was just like uh, talking about Jordan Peterson, was just like just casually dead naming Elliot Page while describing why Jordan Peterson's yeah. not on Twitter, um, and it was just it was just a that's, funny clip. That's, see, one of that's a part of the a part of the dark irony 
is like is so many men in this moment you know we've talked about it already some of it's in what they call the manos manosphere Mm -hmm. or whatever but just like this thing of like look at how look at how society treats us look at how you know women treat us and yet they're they're just hell bent on holding on to and preserving gender <laughs> I mean yeah. the gender so binary like, right? to, just not even just the gender binary well they use it to reinforce it it's like it's you have the same again it's just a matter of the same information different values you know cuz a lot of they start with these uh like we talked about was that convenient half truths where the, a lot of these things are true about mm. uh whether it's men's mental health, loneliness, uh, how people right. treat men and all that, just how patriarchy affects us in general. But then they take that and say, well, we need to take this and inflict it on yeah. women, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. which is a di- women, which is a distinct category that there's no variation whatsoever within yeah. or without, you know? Mm-hmm. We'll start with like the right analysis and then be like, you're like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Exactly. Yeah. And then they go, so we need to double down on that. Exactly. <laughs> what? Exactly. Well, yeah, it's I, like, who, who do I oppress if I don't know your gender? I can't <laughs> figure it out. A part of it is, I, what am I going to go by race? <laughs> a part of it is definitely the, uh, the, the, cognitive dissonance thing that's becoming a cliche on this show now um cognitive yeah. <laughs> but i think it's also something inherent in gender roles as a whole it's like it's called a role to do pull a mm. krs one it's called a gender yeah. role for a reason my brother mm-hmm. you know you you f- from the time you're you fucking come into this world you're you're told this is what you're supposed to do this is how you act and so now in this moment there's almost like this type of like the social cultural crisis happening for some men where that role that they've played or that is it makes up their idea of themselves is now hitting this these contradictions and these tensions mm-hmm. yeah you know it's like well you're you're rightfully you know, communicating about how you feel oppressed and how you feel like there's these values and expectations that are being put on to you, but you're you're unable to connect that to mm-hmm. patriarchy as a system right. and unable to connect that to these 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 binaries and power mm-hmm. more broadly. You know, dog. I saw a tweet that said, "If the dick slip out the pussy, whose job is it to put it back in?" And I that's wow. <laughs> That, like, is, bro. that distills Twitter in like literally <laughs> it distills Twitter what and, they're concerned and, and about. And it distills like how far are we trying to go with this with these fucking gender roles, bro? Right. How Whose far do we have to prescribe this shit what? before you realize? I'm still processing. <laughs> Duh. Just don't even Duh. bother. Don't even bother. <laughs> don't even. <laughs> they were bro, they, serious. Uh, as far as I know. Like if it's the guy a, does even it, even it, even if it was a joke, it was like them saying, "No, this is ridiculous. Hey, right. This is ridiculous." Right. Hey, fellas, is, is it, it gay, gay to be the going to put the dick back in? You going to put your own dick back in somebody else's pussy? Come on, wow. bro. You see, you see how it, it's literally <laughs> a spiral, like for everyone. Again, it's this. Yeah. it's this fucking spiral. This dichotomous thinking shit. Literally across all identities, we're all just thinking that this is all that there is. So we got to pick one. Yeah, we right. got to choose one, and it's and it's dog eat dog. So someone's got to be on top, right? You well, know, right. and if we we're gonna def- be equal, we're gonna be equal in the oppression. We're gonna be equal in the hierarchy and domination. Right. But wait, that that doesn't that doesn't work for some reason because mm-hmm. there's already an imbalance because of the history of the social systems of domination that we are shaped out of. Fuck, like Duh. what are we what are we gonna do? It's like why don't we? Just just try and get think, yeah. yeah, get rid of it. Well, Nation states, the fucking I think, <laughs> I, I, like, I, I gender. Think, <laughs> I think that's what, like, part of there not being um, any, you know, alternative path, imagination, solution, whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it. It it th- when you when you don't have that, it allows for that. Um, you know, uh, what do they always say we have in this country? Polarization. We're polarized. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It allows for that polarization to like build its charge yeah, because right. when I was a, you know, far more younger, ignorant man, the frustration, you know, going to basically, I, I started, I went to film school, art school basically at 2013, which I think 2012, 2013, there was a shift. I think that was because I watched it happen. 
yes, it coincided with me going to college and being exposed to all these things, mm-hmm. but I truly feel like in general, I watched something start to happen mm-hmm. and it was a social awareness and awakeness and consciousness to a degree, but it was very like liberalized and it still mm-hmm. is. But I think I can remember the frustration. And this is why I like do understand this to a degree was like, dude, I've had to literally survive this my whole fucking life. And then you're just going to tell me that's not how the fucking way shit is Mm -hmm. when I've had to die over. I've had to bleed over this shit. Patriarchy, gender roles, all these things. I've had to kill myself to conform to these things. And you're just going to say you're just going to say easily they have no bearing in reality. That's where the that's not real life messaging comes from right Right. i had to live through this pain that's the reality of it you live in la la land you're protected from it and it's like it's because i Mm. think that so often young men are are told the negative there's nothing positive to gain out of these liberating reshaping of right yeah and it's like that's important it's like no 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 you the fucking jock from Wisconsin are going to be more free mm. if someone right. has full body autonomy. You yeah. will be. You yeah. just will be. Right. And it's right. hard because like the freedom part is not focused on, I feel like. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. And we're in a system where so much of uh I mean, to look at Amsterdam and how all of those exploitative things are externalized, like you said, mm. it's like we're in such a position where we we assume somebody has to suffer for us to, you know, for us to be, I guess, good or, so, mm-hmm. you know, for shit to get better, you know? Yeah. I had a longer point, but I don't remember what the rest of it is. So I'm going to let somebody else talk. You were talking, you were just talking about f- the freedom point and how people, that's like not brought up. Like, I would argue it's never brought up. Mm, it's like yeah. almost, yeah. almost never brought up. Mm-hmm. I mean, if it's brought up, it's like a footnote. Cause when you're saying freedom, what are you talking about? Yeah. And in this like neoliberal hellscape that we're in, the 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 ceiling of the conversation kind of just it stops around identity, and then freedom is it's like in it's like asterisk. This is about this is about us being free and equal as human beings, yeah. you know. But it's like it's mostly we're talking we're talking about gender and the gender binary and whatever. It's people talking about pronouns and whatever. It's like. What happens when the conversation is like a part of this more holistic picture where labor, the land, (laughs) all the stuff we talk about, all of it converges, community converges. That's where the expression of humanity exists. That's where the practical sort of like application of, you know, like, yeah, we should we should respect each other and we should whatever. But like until there's a liberated space in which we can start to live differently around the things that we love around our identities and like be be at peace people aren't going to have anything to grasp or or wrap their mind around when you're when you're coming to them talking about one layer of the this freedom conversation when it's around gender or it's around cap class capitalism or whatever it's like yeah I keep coming back to this thing like people have to see the holistic picture and there has to be people who get the holistic picture and have a holistic alternative that they're trying to put forward and move on for us to actually get to a place where this this conversation carries more weight. It's not just about, hey, don't, you know, uh, don't offend that person or, hey, get that person that looks like this and claims this identity in higher up in the hierarchy so that it's it's just more fair and it yeah. makes it look like we're doing a better thing. Mm-hmm. It doesn't it's, have to, it doesn't have to be about endlessly um, comparing and equivalating different acts to try to balance out reality. You know what I'm saying? To just balance out the world, if that makes sense. Right. You know, it doesn't, yeah. have, we don't have to spend right. the rest right. of history. Right. Oh, it's like, trying I, to I, find I, yeah, yeah. Trying to find a point. Right. Point. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I've been like, I've been like on the fence about whether to bring this up, but I feel like the points have converged to try to, to maybe make this point. But uh, if you all, I'm sure y'all have, are aware of the situation, Tyra Nichols and, and another black man mm. was killed by police. Mm-hmm. And I, it feels like almost like, obviously people are still talking about it, but almost it feels like just a blip in yes. time that people were really energized about it like the first day yeah and then i guess the cops got uh have been arrested and are being charged 
And that whole situation has been eerily it's, undercovered by media. Yeah, and it's been um, it's also been clouded by the fact that the cops are black, which is a different, which is another conversation. But also, I I remember seeing that the cops got arrested and thinking like people are going to think this is enough. Mm. Somebody's going to think this is enough, mm-hmm. you know. And I I I saw a video earlier today of a cop. I don't know if he was like a sheriff or commissioner or some shit. Um, talking about the cost bene- cost benefit analysis of killing a person versus uh, versus injuring them. And saying you kill him, this th- this a three million dollar payout to the family, and that's it. And then if you injure him, you gotta take care of him the rest of your life, the rest of their life. And it's the fact that they are making these equivalences with people's lives, and we think that we can go out and march for a couple hours, inevitably get bottlenecked into a fucking police kettle or some shit, and that's gonna be enough. And we can just do that every day, and eventually they'll see that we're trying. Uh, or that we want things to change and they'll just change them. So we we could either do that for the rest of history and look for empty justice, which is that equivalent, uh, that equivalence shit, or we can start actually talking about creating the conditions for this to never happen again. Right. You know? And c- can I say something on that point? It's like, think about all the pieces that make up freedom, Mm -hmm. at least for us, right? It's not just shit around your identity. (laughs) Yeah. It's around, you know, it's like psychological, it's social, right? So it requires other people. It requires other people. It requires land. It requires material things. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So what sense does it make to cat like this, it's I'm really thinking about Sapolsky again. It's like the being stuck in the bucket. What what sense yeah. does it make to just grab on to one one thing, one issue, or one part of how you're being exploited or oppressed and kind of just that's a part of the distraction. Yeah. You know, like and it is, it is hard. It's hard to wrap your mind around more like multiple things at the same time. Yeah. But I feel like the community building piece is that's where it can practically you can start to piece it all together and the other thing i wanted to say on the on the just on the gender thing too because we especially i'm sorry like in in like from the black the perspective of being black and uh you know a black man uh it's like you can see all the ways in which we carry the it's like you see the the white what the white men do and then we we just do the same thing like in our context so it's like like for example i'm thinking about this on the the gender and and the the sex thing like how many black men talk about freedom as a virtue or wanting to be free or liberation or whatever but the second you come to them around these these conversations Mm. around gender or patriarchy or whatever Mm -hmm wait like wait a second wait hold on like hold on that's different that's different right and it's like my my appeal another part of my appeal and it transcends you know identity at a certain level is you know if you if you want if you want this for yourself think about (laughs) acknowledge the fact that other people (laughs) have to have it too right yeah and then think about the ways in which all of us could have it together that's when we're talking about humanity that's when we're talking about humanization of all peoples and if you can start thinking in that way you can start to see why gender these categories don't fucking make sense Mm -hmm, you can actually see oh that just gets in the way because otherwise i'm just regardless of what you look like and I'm not talking about just race and ethnicity. I'm talking about, you know, pe- even saying like femme and mask, talking about femininity and masculinity. Right. All of these things serve. It's it's serving to dehumanize mm-hmm. at a certain level because yeah. you should be able to look at somebody no matter what they fucking look like. And be like, that is a that is an autonomous, self-determining human being. Right. And whether then, they want to yeah. fuck me or not, whether they want to have kids, whether they whatever they do with their body. And this could extend yeah. to light, all life forms. You know, and, you yes. Know, eventually. yes. Eventually. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. And then you realize the, cate- the, the, the categories, it's like, wow, what a big ass uh, 
net to cast male female. That's a big two. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> two, two, eight billion, two. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, that's what you really, you really internalize. You're like, whoa, what? No, that doesn't you make sense. You know what's sense. cooler than $8 billion? Two. <laughs> two. No, no, no. You can only be two things. Come on now. That's so, not exciting. Yeah. yeah. That was so funny to me. Even when people were trying to say there were like a hundred distinct genders or however many, it was just like, can we just move past? Yeah, it's move like, past yeah. gender. Past the, Let's move past it. Yeah. It's like, maybe there's not a there's... Star Wars canon. Maybe it's just what you want to tell. <laughs> 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 maybe all canon is head canon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm trying to get some of that. Um, no, but uh, <laughs> um, no, wait, but what you were we're still boys, folks. Uh, still boys. Um, but I think that's like a good mental exercise. Is like oh, yeah. just imagine you are good. Everyone around you is good. What's the point of this? That yeah. You know, it's like yeah. what does this serve when you? are good like right you know what does your fucking phone social media serve when you have a community right honestly like right. what and what know? do you get what get what get good do you gain from approaching every person in your life with some pre preconceived notion that's not based on who they actually are as right. a human know? yeah like yeah. i'm like it is just like you know, if they just only had comments instead of likes, like, you know what I mean? Like, that'd be basically half the battle right there. It's like, it's just about talking and hanging out. It's not about, like, quantifying the shit. It's like, fuck. Right. I want to say on that point, too, like, you know, I, with all of that said, I, you know, even still, say, like, describing myself as a man or whatever, I was talking about this. You know, because she's queer and like we, we, were, we were just having a conversation about, you know, this. Uh, it's like a really sort of like controversial. I didn't know that, by the way. <laughs> it's a really it's a, it's a it's a really controversial, controversial thing. And I'm sure like you, you've heard like queer heterosexuality as like a concept. Mm. But, you know, like I just to be clear, like I think gender is is bullshit. But I still find myself yeah. using these descriptors, you know, to make it easier, you know, to to yeah. just make it a more more simple for this, you know, in in discussion or whatever. You said right. queer heterosexuality. I've heard of that. Well, yeah, it's like a it's it's um. It's like is it like a critique of how heteros are kind of using queer to like. Well, some well, people are well, saying they're like. It is a... the debate. It mm -hmm. is it's the debate. It's not uh, there's there's critique in there, but there's also support in there. So it's like there's people who feel like. You know, if you're, if you still live by some of these like heteronormative, right. whatever, but yeah. you're being subversive and you and you actually right. don't agree with them, then that's a good thing. And then there's other people who feel like, well, you're you're benefiting from like proximity to like queer struggle right. and reality right. and whatever. Right. I mean, that's another part of why I just I don't I I still say, oh, I'm a man or whatever. But mm -hmm. yeah. it makes you wonder. It's like how would language how would even these conversations change right if we could yeah. if we could get past gender mm -hmm. yeah not just i'm, I'm gonna keep reiterating not just the gender binary gender period right. right how does language change how do we like not just talk to each other how do we fucking relate to each other right. how does that how does that you know and it's like a mind fuck to think about because we are living under patriarchy we're still living under yeah. male dominated systems right. and institutions right. that are violent and coercive and whatever um, and exist in you know queer spaces also. yeah Huge. that's what, that's what yeah. i was talking about with my dwell it's like that's how deep it's like what we were saying we're talking about systems and we're talking about a fucking it's like a mode of thinking mm -hmm. yeah how do we like we we're, we break through that mode of thinking and it's like what is that what does that mean for all of us <laughs> like yeah being after, i mean yeah. you know I'm I'm not there yet either because I also yeah still identify as a man, but a friend of mine, their answer I almost did it wrong, their answer <laughs> is to like embody it like they were just mm -hmm. they provoked me at some point being like with with a statement of like all men are rapists and it was sort of a, it was really a provocation mm, right there was obviously yeah. like a lot of layers to it but their point was basically like 
male <laughs> culture, ma- masculine culture mm-hmm. le- leads to rape right. culture. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. That's why, like, not the gender or the sex, or however you want to call it, mm-hmm. of being a man is being a rapist, but like. Not talking about your f- genitalia. Yeah, yeah. Living yeah. up to be a man in the sort of typical way is. Yeah. And their point basically was like, they're now non binary. I mean, I might be wrong if how about the, how, the, how they feel about their body, but I think the main point was that right. they just don't want to identify as a right. man of yeah. that social construct, of that right. gender role. Yeah. Right. And so the way to change that narrative, change the conversation, is to step into it, not right. even as a man or a woman. Yeah. Right. And, that, and they're just like, I'm now non-binary and they, them, right. and that's what I want to do. And that's how I'm going to try to change the conversation, yeah. even if it's just for myself. Right. Right. Like They really didn't give a fuck for a while about their name or whatever they were just like i just want to for myself see what it does to to aspire to something different mm, right well, here's yeah. another thing how exciting the prospect of identities formed out of being a human being and the freedom and love yeah. that you experience not out of the contrast to whatever oppression you're experiencing right, right. like imagine right. the prospect of instead of everything that we identify being in yeah in contrast to something right it's like just I can't wait to see what, what it is. Yeah. What actual human organic masculinity Wants looks like. Yeah. The yeah. non-rape version. Yeah. Does it exist? Yeah. Clearly, it, in a lot of in a lot of people, you find that. So how fun it would be to see when people aren't in this like violent scarcity logic, yeah. what comes out of them. All all forms, you know, and that goes for yeah. everything. Right. There's so much we're not getting out of it that could just it's sort Organically of the, form. Yeah, right. It's well, sort of the it's, the dawn of everything thing about like play chiefs and and like play chiefs and real freedoms right. versus real chiefs and play freedoms. It's sort of like mm. play yeah. identities. Like if we would go back to play identities, mm-hmm. yeah. how exciting if we could not take on identities because we downloaded them from the internet and we sort of like <laughs> let them be co-opted by our yeah, survival game bio. Yeah. but could just come up with whole new identities yeah. for yeah. a day or a month or whatever what we if feel they're, like what we, if there are things you identify with that you don't even have to state other people just see it because you're in community with them and your identity is a communal identity it's yeah. not yeah. just you know yeah. An- another thing I find helpful on the gender thing specifically too though is like thinking about how how many of the things we use to describe people uh, are inherently gendered that don't have to be. Yeah. You know, it's like when you're saying, it's like, why is resiliency masculine? Right. right. Why is that? Why is that what we call masculine? Right. You know, or like, yeah. why is sensitivity feminine? Right. Why is that considered fat? Or like, yeah. some people who are clearly they're they're going against heteronormative values in some ways. They're they're actually re- reflecting them in other ways. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, it's like. Yeah, it gets tricky, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. so you, you're it's a mind fucking. You're like, well, where is that coming from? Like that expression, where is that right. coming from? Is it coming from a human place, or is it coming from I want to be like look like a man place, right. or I want to look like f- feminine place? And it's like our, our sexualities yeah. come out of like a lot of sometimes it comes out of trauma or like mm. right. some comes out of imagine right. if they were informed by positive experiences or like <laughs> right. you know what I mean like right. Um, but yeah, I think that's true too. I think that there is still a clinging to something um, because that space isn't there, you know? Yeah. Right. Um, That's also true. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But looking for freedom within a fucked up context. Um, what you just said reminded me of a joke. I think it was Chris Rock or <laughs> it was really not even a, it wasn't even really a joke. Thing? <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Talking about? What? 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 There's two <laughs> types of genders. <laughs> What's with the gender binary, y'all? It's a spectrum, y'all. You can see the crosses of his fingers. <laughs> no, he, he, That's uh, the Jimmy Fallon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think this might have been when he was uh, hosting the Oscars at one point. It was just like, it was a simple question, but it was like, how has nobody thought of this? It was just like, why did they? Why do we need a separate category for best actor and best actress? Mm. It's acting, right? Mm. There's not yeah. even all the hangups of other gender no. shit to mm. to justify this category. No. Why does this exist? It's like a whole other. No, that shit is you know? really mm. fucking stupid. When you, <laughs> yeah. Really yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm it's saying. The right? most yeah. That's dumb, arbitrary <laughs> shit. In it's the like, world. and the award for best lady acting goes to. So the we, only reason they don't do it in directing is 
Well, we all know why. <laughs> right. There's not, yeah. they just don't there's not enough. Yeah. 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 We right. cut the middleman out on that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. We do that on the front end. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's like if you're if you identify as a man and you're finding yourself going, oh, look at these, what we're expected to do. Look at how violent, you know, this society is towards us. They treat our bodies like cannon fodder. Look at what these women expect out of us. Look, it's the women. The it's the women. It's like wrestle with this gender thing for one yeah. second for yeah. one second and google patriarchy mm-hmm. hit the wikipedia page for patriarchy. google patriarchy okay. <laughs> <laughs> well Think yeah and it. also consider like maybe uh both parties are influenced and programmed by it and right that doesn't yes. mean it's either one's fault right there we yeah. go right yeah, yeah. 